Hello, today I will explain another uh, uh, study concerning the Murioku. Remember that Murioku that we have been explaining on several videos before? It's a uh, moon from empty and Ryoku from chika, that means uh, force or strength. Then it's to, uh, to drain or to, to get empty or the force on the enemy. Then on Murioku studies we will be dealing with some strikes uh, to different and but special areas of the body and with special methods that will cause uh, a, a, an energy drain. It's, uh, it means that on the, on the opponent will cause a, a gap, a space that it will be impossible to, to react and we will have conditions to prepare completely the, the technique that we will apply. And today we will also have here a skeleton in order to explain the, uh, and it also get easier for us to understand what points and what targets we will strike and what areas of the body we will care in order to uh, cause special pain and a special uh, energy drain. Then, for example, uh, here on my right, uh, Sensei Rebecca will help me with the skeleton in order to uh, explain uh, several ways to attack of the enemy and how I will apply on this. Before entering on the movements, the uh, study concerning this uh, Murioku is called of Chuki uh, uh, Kosetsu. Chuki, uh, Chu comes from Hiji, that means uh, the, the elbow. This key is from a uh, tool or utensil, and this uh, corsets it's a uh, bone fracture. Then it's how we will apply bone fractures on the enemy with employing a special skill of uh, the employment of the elbows in different conditions. In the past, they um, perceive that the elbow is very strong, and we will. Uh, provoke special tips that will cause special emphasis in, in how we strike the enemy. Then they will apply on this kind of Murioku uh, study uh, the elbow how to fracture the enemy. We will apply frontal line, we will apply diagonal line and we will apply on, a, on lateral line. Then for example if we have here the skeleton one of the most classical ways in order to uh, uh, on, on explaining on this uh, Chuki Kosetsu is when he wants to grab me, he will try with the body in order to cross completely and have control of myself here. Okay? Or maybe trying to grab my body or my trunk like that in order to apply any kind of throw or any kind of uh, control on my body. A uh, frontal line to apply with the elbow will be the following. What I will do is my hands will go forward, will grab in the, in the base of the cranial area and what I will do is I will offer here my elbows, I will put in that way, in order that my elbows will strike, if you will see, on the uh, clavicula areas, in order to break these bones that you will see. And it could be in one side or it could be with both sides from here to strike. Here the strike is very violent, also depending on the height, we could also break several ribs here because it will also enter breaking here. What we will do is to apply this bone in several uh, possibilities. For example, if uh, the skeleton tries to grab me, one more time I could be aside and I could offer here in order that my elbow will strike directly to the mandibula here and I could also could break here also the nose also we could also go for the clavicula etc. We could also offer this side protecting maybe for example from a, from a side here I could break here and also protect or protect striking also the tip of the of the frontal bone the sternus here and we could cause serious pain also uh, if we want to 
attack for the body. For example, if he wants to grab, we pull also from here. Comes, I pull also strike here on the humerus in order to cause a, uh, an important pain here and breaking on the distal distal fracture of the bone. We could also, for example, when we are maybe grabbing by the side, for example, if he tries to grab me by the side, making control here, I could employ my right elbow here. What I will do is I will move back, I will retreat, and I will employ here to strike. Also, after that, I could enter in order to break out so the elbow. I could pass here in order to break. After that, I could enter to the other side. And of course, I could pass to break here. Pass, breaking. And also employing the elbows as a way to strike, breaking the different sides of the bone. It could also be applied when we are dealing with kicks. For example, if we have the skeleton trying to kick me, for example, on a frontal, sorry, on a frontal, I will do it in that way. With the frontal knee, what I will do is, of course, I could enter here in order to attack to the femoral, to this distal side of the, of the femur, like that, in order to break, sorry. We could also apply on the ankle, we could also do it on the other side, sorry. And right now, if we try to apply on a circular kick, what we will do is, like we have explained on several, only beware for the skeleton. Skeleton, move, move, move here to the side. Okay, if he tries to kick me, what I will do first, my, my hand will stop before the knee, and after that, I will grab, and after that, I will strike to break sideways in order to cause the fracture, the bone fracture of the femoral or also attacking the joint here, like that. Then, what we will have here are several explanations of how we could employ uh, these kind of skills, also the bone that it's a very hot area to strike and to cause on this muryoku the draining of the energy because we will be attacking in order to break bone structures that we uh, that will be also very important to 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 the to sustain the body. Then I hope that you have enjoyed this explanation of this video. Uh, please keep watching the channel, keep watching our channel and all videos, and see you next time. Thank you.